buddy, Captain Chris Bush, Beckle Truth yeah. Island. We just got done with a podcast uh, this morning. We're going out at uh, it's 10 20 in the, in the morning. As you can see, we have got some high pressure. Uh, we talked about it on the podcast this morning, so be sure to tune in to uh, his podcast at some point whenever it airs. I'm sure we'll let everybody know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay. we typically roll out uh, once every two weeks, so the ones that we cover. This weekend will roll out really kind of over the next month. Okay, cool beans. But yeah, we want to talk a little bit about what we're up against here. We've had a norther come through, coming off of a full moon. It's a weekend, and uh, we're just we're just accepting the fact that that's what we're up against. <laughs> yeah, right. We're embracing it. Through. Well, I mean, and that, that's kind of part of it too. And, and that's goes into the calculation we talked about this morning. Is kind of manage expectations with you know it being a high pressure situation. You go, okay, that's kind of what I'm against what we also just talked about it too which is really if you look at kind of the long-term forecast it's getting better like as the next kind of two days kind of roll through so really we're in the worst of it right now That's right. so you kind of have to use that as kind of that perpetual optimism set your mindset and then go okay if, if they're not biting now that's okay because the conditions are improving and hopefully that bite picks up so. yeah yeah that, that's what we're doing we're going to go set up we're going to work the major the best that we can to our advantage um, the winds are supposed to back down. We're going to be set up right. We're just going to be fishing for one fish. We're going to hope to get a good one. We want to tag one if we can, um, which is good. We got Captain Kyle. Captain Kyle, stand up. Say hello. Hey guys. <laughs> Eleven-hour drive from Mississippi. Yeah, and, and, and Edward Crumb as well. Yeah, got so. Ed in the backdrop there. He's kind of shy. We've got uh, Captain Josh back there with uh, a couple of our pro team ladies, uh, Aaron and Erica. On board, we're fixing to pick up Mike over here, and uh, we're gonna go give it a give it a full run. Yeah, I want to say, man, I just appreciate you just allowing us to be uh, come down here, fish with you, you know, and, and obviously this is have, heaven for me, and I know Kyle's experienced it. This will be a first time experience for Ed uh, coming down, but again, just want to really say thanks. Uh, appreciate you, man, having us down here, fishing together, and hopefully we can stick a couple good ones, man. That'd be yeah, awesome. We'll tag a few. We got a good a good weekend in store. We're gonna do some fish in the next couple of days. We got a trip full of the sea. Uh, just a good, good a good good weekend. Yep, yep. So, so we're looking forward to it. And uh, hopefully we'll get some good footage, we'll get some good fish and have some good we'll have a good time nonetheless. Yep, yep. Good Thanks. stuff. All right man. Thanks. Yeah, yesterday the bellies weren't red but they had the sea lice on them so that tells me they've been sitting there for a long overnight Chris is hooked up little one little ones are eating that's for sure hitting anyway keep grinding
fishing here at thigh deep water. It's, it's a tough day, to be flat out honest with you. But these little bitty two watt hooks with this diamond head is so darn effective. I can get it in on that. I'll show you this hook. And we're using a new collar by uh, the Speckled Truth people, Fish Fishing Company. Boy, and that's the thing with these little bitty hooks, you think they don't catch them? That little bitty hook right there, and that's a beautiful colored bait too. Oops. Um, beautiful colored bait. I don't know if you can see it through the sun, but that has been a very effective bait the last two weeks we've been field testing it. And it's got that purple and clear belly, got some flake in it. Little bitty two watt hook. This is that 332nd spring lock hook. It's got that diamond head to it. Man, it just darts in the water real well. I hook them through the belly. These ball tail shads been been working pretty darn good. So, if you're in the market for a black nickel hook that has some bite to it, consider that little 332nd. Uh, it's been a tough day though. That's, that's just the fact of the matter. But we're still out here. It's getting late in the day. Sun's starting to set. Just high pressure coming off a full moon, it's a weekend. All the variables, but sometimes you just gotta go when you can go. Fishing, and that's the case here. Got Larry hooked up over there for a little fish. The little ones are eating. We're gonna keep at it, Jimmy. Oh Mike, back in action, look at it. slit in this uh, ball tail shed and threw it on like a swing head and uh, actually it's been producing some trout and some reds but more more reds but this is a beautiful one late afternoon yeah can't get any better than that really yeah, except as, if it had spots and was gray yeah and that size <laughs> yeah no. <laughs> but now we've been out here you know trying to work for these fish and we are working for them we knew we were going to be faced with these conditions yeah. you know Chris is trying some finesse stuff here we're Spider webs are all over. It's high pressure. I mean, it's just one of those deals. But we're working to them. Yep. And uh, we've we've uh, actually we did see a 28 inch trout today. Landed it. Uh, Mike McBride got it. And uh, we're out here trying to get another one. Chris side cast a big fish. Just didn't hit. Yeah. Well. Yeah. No. That's a big fish. But it's all good. Hey. We'll get after it. That's right. Oop. Good deal. Thanks, buddy. Get rid of that fish. I <laughs> know <laughs> All right, folks, Captain Wayne Davis here, Captain Kyle Johnson, Ed, and uh, Captain Chris with the Speckled Truth. It's the end of the day, and we knew what we were going to be up against out there, uh, but, but we worked for them. We had high pressure, just like we talked about. I mean, it was it was one of those days. Uh, Captain Kyle? Yeah, uh, it was tough, but we did manage to get some nice fish on this. Uh, I can talk about this truth color. Yeah, right? you okay. bet. Yeah, all right. So Captain Wayne advised me to... Uh, rig it upside down like this and uh, not that I didn't trust him but I tried it the other way as well <laughs> and it, this actually proved to be the better way it actually swims a little bit different it, uh, it lays on the bottom better the fish uh, it took us a little while to kind of figure out what the fish wanted but that is the color that they wanted today and they wanted it just straight lay on the bottom a couple twitches pop 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 lay on the bottom and it was kind of hard to get the hit to be honest with you because you'd have a little bit of slack in your line because it would just be laying on the bottom but they were just straight inhaling it and, and they 
they really, really wanted that color today. Yeah, we managed to get a couple of nice ones um, up to 28 inches, but we worked for them, and there's no doubt it's yeah. a big red fish. Yeah. Um, and uh, Captain Chris, what do you think? Lots of reds. Uh, no, honestly, again, managing expectations. I keep saying it, but you know, daylight days like today definitely, you know, certainly managing expectations is good. We got bit all day, admittedly, right? I mean, yeah. we really did, uh, which is a good thing. Now, granted, you know, a lot of red fish, a lot of a lot of some smaller trout with some big, big, bigger fish mixed in. But you know, that's that's a successful day and being able to adapt to those conditions, modify your approach, like Kyle said. Uh, I threw a little bit different approach with that Texas eye. I talked about that a little bit, and uh, just tried to lighten it up and figure that out and figure out that bite. And once we did, we were able to stay fairly consistent the rest of the day. Yeah. So yeah. it was good. It was a good day, man. And Thanks. it's important to have days like this. Yeah. You know, a learning trip, 100 percent, right? No, no doubt about it. And then every time you have a trip like this, you fine tune your next trip that you encounter like this. Yeah. And uh, so it's not a really necessarily a bad thing. It's actually good long term uh, for for fine tuning your fishing skills. Yep. So uh, we got another day tomorrow, and uh, I think the pressure is going to start to fall. Conditions improving. Hey. Conditions improving. So one thing Ed and I were actually talking about, and, and one of the things, again, just being observant in the water, and I think we've kind of all witnessed it while we're out there, which was the wind obviously laid. It was out of the northeast to start, and then as the day wore on, we knew the conditions were going to improve. Really, we had like a little bit of a slack window where that wind went dead, and then when it switched out to east, that's when the bite Yep. picked up and so tells me probably pressure was still climbing right when that wind shut off and switched up the east probably stabilized triggered the fish stayed on that bite and uh yeah it was good like well, i said left the bite really. yeah no absolutely yeah. and also another thing like going back to what wayne said what we're going to use uh what i'm going to use for tomorrow uh, today i noticed i was fishing we were fishing really soft mud in a really hard bottom an area that had both and when I was in the soft mud, I was catching a couple, getting a couple bites, a couple short strikes, a couple small fish. But as soon as I found the hard bottom in a current line is when we really started to hone in on the bigger fish. And Ed did as well. And uh, this was Ed's first time in Port Mansfield. So what do you, yeah. what do you think about it, dude? I loved it. <laughs> I, did, I did find the mud. And, uh, it took me a while to get out of there. But uh, once I did, like I said, I found the, kind of found a little trough, found some, some solid ground. and. Uh, Say that job start too. But yeah, going back with what Wayne was saying about you know learning from each trip. So tomorrow, you know, no matter where he drops me off, just because of what I experienced today, even though it could be different, the first thing I'm gonna look for is a harder bottom, and that's where I'm gonna fish. Tomorrow. It seemed like the fish are, have transitioned the last two days from the muddier stuff, and now they're kind of staging on that harder bottom, which we, we witnessed it today. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So tomorrow, there's no reason that the fish wouldn't be on the hard bottom. So it's a good place to focus our efforts cool. first thing out of the gate. So with that said, you know, we've had a good day with these guys from Mississippi and, and just, just a good time. And I appreciate them being down here. So we'll give it a go tomorrow. All right.